Hi, so in today's video, we will discuss about a problem related to generic trees. So in the problem, we are given a generic tree and we have to return a node who's having maximum sum of its children and it itself and we have to return that node. Uh, so for solving this problem, we have few different approaches. First will be iterative and recursive. We will implement them both and try to improvise uh, them both. And apart from that, we will also understand few different concepts related to, related to traversals in a generic tree. So let's take this tree for an example. Okay, so this is a generic tree and as we know, we have to return the node who's having maximum sum of its children and, and node itself. So let's take this root node. What would be the sum for this root node? Uh, the sum would be 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4. Uh, I think that would be 6 plus 9, 10. So the sum would be 10. So let's check for this uh, this node. And the sum would be 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 6, 14. 14, I will write simply 14 here. And for this leaf node, the sum would be 2. For this fourth node, the sum will be uh, 4 plus 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7. I think it's 38. And for all these leaf nodes, the sum would be the node data itself 6, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, what will be, what will be my answer? My answer will be the node uh, who's having data 4 in it. So, this is my answer. I have to return this node in my program. Okay, so before going to program, let's understand. How will I traverse my link list? Link list, sorry, uh, my tree. So I will use a queue for traversing my tree. Uh, first, I will push the root element in my queue. Okay, I have pushed 10 in my queue. Now I will uh, store the children of the uh, store the children of my uh, root element. I'm sorry, it's 10, and pop that first element in my queue. Okay, so children of one are simply three, two, and four. Now I will pop the first most element in my queue. Okay, uh, uh, af now after that I will again uh, add the ch uh, children of the first most el uh, element in my queue. The first most element is three, and the children of three are six and five. So I will add six and and after adding the children I will delete the first most element okay uh, and again now now the first most element is 2 2 has no children so I will simply delete it now 4 4 has 4 children that is 7 8 9 10 okay 7 8 9 and 10 now I will uh, delete the fourth element. Now four six six has I think no children, so so I will simply delete six, simply delete five, simply delete seven. As these all nodes have do not have any children left, so in this way I will traverse my tree, generic tree. So now you guys know how will I traverse my tree and uh, what is the problem? Let's jump onto the problem itself. Okay, let me delete this solution will pour it again okay so what would be my return type return type would be a node of a tree the node having maximum sum so we'll simply make return type a pointer of a tree node uh, let's name my function maxim node so what will be my input we will pass the root of root of the tree we are taking argument root of the tree okay so I'm making uh, let's uh, first take care of the edge cases uh, if, if some stupid user passes null we will simply return him null So now let's make a node. Let's make a tree node. Okay. 
name that node maxim and let's make a variable total it will store the total in my uh, in my what do we say in my tree okay so now I will make a queue let's check we have included the yeah we have included the queue file okay now let's make a queue queue and the uh, data type which will which we will store in a queue will be the nodes of tree so what should I write down in this angle brackets I think tree node and because we are showing the addresses of the nodes of tree yeah that's right let's name my queue pending nodes okay after making my queue let's first push the push the root element in my in my queue push I'll push root into it now I have pushed the root element into it now we have to add the children of this root and also we have to uh, delete the topmost element in my queue uh, after checking the sum after checking the sum initially my sum is zero uh, we have stored the sum value in this total it is zero now let's make a while loop I will run this while loop till my Q is empty not equal to zero. I will run this while loop till my queue is empty. Okay, so let's make a variable node node pointer. Let's name it current. We will simply in this current variable we will simply store the first most element in our queue so how will we get a uh, first most element in my queue we have a I think top function for that so my queue name is pending notes dot top it will simply return the topmost element in my queue pending Oh, oh I'm sorry I'm sorry there is no function named top in queue it's front not queue. it is fine okay so I have uh, added the I have added the frontmost element in my current which uh, uh, which is the variable uh, variable in my temp uh, while loop so I can delete the first most element in my queue so what's the function for deleting I think it's pop pending nodes dot pop standing nodes okay so I will I'm taking a variable sum initially it is storing the uh, current data of my uh, uh, data of my uh, current node okay now this sum it has only data of its node uh, we also have to add data of the children of the children of that current node so for the for adding the data of the children I will run a for loop and I should run this for loop uh, till uh, uh, so that I can add all the children of that node so I will simply put the condition uh, current children dot size so uh, children dot size uh, will give me the value that how many children's of that node is present in this I will simply add the data of the children's Okay. 
okay uh, now I've added the children also while adding the children I can also push these children into my queue pending now you are might be getting it how am I adding elements and deleting elements in my queue pending not start push current children I so okay so I will check if my sum is greater than equal to total or simply greater than I will return I will I will update my max node and sum okay my max node will become sorry max sum max sum will become equal to current and also my total will be sum okay okay this seems fine so in this way we will be running our while loop and after this i think we will get our max so yeah max so okay uh, now this function seems fine uh, what is it telling me it's giving me a warning maybe initialized okay 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 so uh, we have not initialized our uh, node initially it will not uh, have any issue but let's take it none okay okay now i think i should try to run it so it's compiled successfully now let's give it a tree i've stored this tree so this is the tree uh, this is the same tree this is the same tree I'm giving input so uh, what would be my output I think it should be 4 so now I'm adding okay so it is giving max node 4 let's yeah max node 4 so my function seems to be working right okay so uh, now we'll discuss how recursion uh, how we can implement this using recursion so now we are done with the discussion. I want you guys to try this question on geek for geeks and if you are confused in any other topic like how am I printing the tree or taking input of a tree, you can always uh, comment down below and uh, or you can DM me on Instagram if you want me to cover some other topic related to data structures, feel free to ask. Thank you.